Hey guys, welcome to my pose creation series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import props and create a sim items into Blender to use. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that you have the program Sims 3 Object Cloner or S3OC installed on your computer. I show how to do this in the first video, so if you're having trouble uh, locating this program or getting it installed, just revisit the first video and it'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is, is open this program. And I'm just going to do this by searching for it because I'm too lazy to track it down myself. So when you open it, this is what it will look like. So what you'll need to do is go to cloning and go to normal objects. In this video, I'm going to be hunting down the uh, the grand piano object from the late nine expansion pack to use as a prop in Blender. So this unfortunately takes a little bit to load. But there we go. Now, my opinion on the best ways to try and track down an, an item that you're looking for is to either sort by name or by uh, expansion pack. So, you know, I'm going to be looking for a piano, so I'm going to hope that it uh, starts with piano, so I'll sort by name and scroll down to the letter P. And as you can see here, it's got all these three options, piano grand, piano keyboard and both here are tagged LN for the late night expansion. So after I click that you'll notice all this information will pop up over here. But uh, I'll just show you real quick what it looks like if you sort by expansion. As you can see everything is, is kind of grouped together so that can make it find, uh, easier to find if you're looking for a specific couch or a table or something and uh, you're not sure exactly what it's called uh, it makes it a little bit easier and once you click it of course it shows the thumbnail up here in the corner which uh, makes it a little easier to tell what item it is you're looking at so obviously this is the right item I was looking for so what I need to do is go down to this clone or fix button at the bottom click it once you'll notice all this information will pop up here on the left side there really isn't anything that you need to change you can uh, change the name of the file here uh, right now it's you know, select, set to uh, Coleco underscore grand piano etc etc um, but I so that's fine with me but if I wanted to name it something a little bit more specific you know as piano prop or something I could change the name and then I'll hit, just hit start and select where I want to export it and for now I'm just going to do it to the desktop and I'll hit save. And this will take a little minute as well. Once it's done this little uh, message will pop up and you just hit OK. But before I exit out of Sims 3 Object Cloner I'm going to show you how to export create a sim items as well. Uh, this is handy if you would like to grab a certain outfit to put on your sim in Blender or if there is say a uh, a hat or something from one of the expansion packs or the base game that you would like to extract to, to put on to, to work with to pose with. So I'm gonna go basically to the same window or to the same menu that's uh, the cloning menu go down to CAS part down at the bottom and wait for that to load as well. So once that's finished um, I'll like to point you to uh, the, the way that these are marked as you can see that each of these files are prefixed uh, very similarly to how the the pose files are prefixed uh, this is because it's, it's showing you what rig or you know what uh, animal or what uh, person would wear these objects so for example at the very very top if you start by name it's AB antler that means obviously that that's the antlers for deers or for deer <laughs> excuse me um, you know AC is for adult cat so I specifically need to find the ones for adult females so all those are going to be prefixed by AF so there's a big chunk of adult female things here I'm specifically looking for a cowboy hat so I'm just going to uh, speed through that real quick once that's done I'll click that and you can see the correct thumbnail here at the, at the top actually I'm going to do 
this this one and then I'll just do the same thing I'll hit clone and fix hit start and choose where I want to extract it All right, and now that's done and I can just go ahead and quit out of uh, ob uh, Sims 3 object cloner if there's nothing else that I need so once I open blender uh, at this point I can import the items that I just exported out of the object cloner uh, so to do this um, you need to hit the load prop button over here on the right hand panel it's the top one this uh, this load prop button will load any build by item that you can export from the game once that's done uh, I'll navigate to where I exported the file which is the desktop and there it is piano prop so I'll click that hit the import button at the top right and then you'll see my piano is now in the uh, in the window but it's at a rather bad location to work with to pose around so I would prefer to keep my rig where it is so I'm gonna move the piano instead uh, to do this you'll need to make sure that it's selected so if I go back to my rig I'll need to to right click the piano again so I'll just show you how I did that you know right click the rig the rig is selected right click the piano the piano is selected and now I can move it around as I would the rig you can either uh, go from the top and rotate it around as a, as a tip if you hit the button 7 on your number keypad it will uh, switch to a top view. You can do this with all the number keypads. You can hit 1, 3, and 7 to, to kind of go around. Um, but once once you're there, you can I can use that to flip this around. And then as you'll notice, there's a, a kind of a joint here at the bottom that allows me to, to move it around more. And uh, you just use that by left clicking on one of the arrows and dragging. I can also do this on the red and green arrows or red and blue arrows but I obviously don't want piano there so I'm going to just hit undo and move it back. So now obviously I can uh, start having her pose with it. Alright, so I just threw a quick pose together using the piano. Uh, it's obviously not finished, but uh, it's just to kind of give you an idea of how you can use the, the uh, props to kind of work around in Blender. Uh, one thing I want to point out is just make sure that there's no clipping. Because the textures don't load in properly, this can be a little hard to see sometimes. But uh, for example, if you look at her leg right here, you can see that it's clipping into the bench. So I'm just going to select her leg and move it out of the way. So just kind of be very careful of that. So now I'm going to show you how to load in a create a sim item. Uh, now you just go to the same panel, the bottom right hand, and then you'll click the button that says load CAS. This window will pop up and then you'll be able to navigate to where the uh, the item is and of course it's still on the desktop so I'll select the cowboy hat, hit import prop, and after a second or so the uh, the item will load in. But as you can see that this particular item is clipping on the rig uh, because I already have a, a hair installed so I can just go to the panel here on the right and find the hair that was already on the rig. So if, if it's collapsed it'll look like this. Just hit the little plus sign on the side here and scroll down and you'll look for one called AF hair select it and then click the little eye on the right hand side and now it'll disappear so this makes it easier if I want to pose doing something with it I'm obviously I'm not going to take the time to show you exactly how to do that but it'll uh, now you'll be able to uh, make a pose you know interacting with the cowboy hat or, or whatever. So the last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is uh, 
import an item if it was a custom content. This is pretty much exactly the same, um, but just so you know that you, you don't have to use the items from the game in order to uh, import a prop or import a uh, create a sim item. Uh, because, for instance, a lot of uh, the really good items that you can use to make poses with are actually custom content, like if you want to make guitar poses or gun poses or the sort. So I'm going to show you one in particular, which, as I just said, uh, a guitar. Um, the best way to find, I think, most uh, custom content items is my Sims 3 blog. It's a very, very handy blog for, you know, you're able to find pretty much anything you're looking for. Uh, so for this, I just typed in guitar, and it was the very first one that popped up. There's also a couple other ones here, but this one was specifically designed uh, to and it actually comes with a bunch of poses so obviously it's really good to pose around uh, but for example if I wanted to find a gun to work with to make poses of you can go here and there's a whole bunch of uh, of poses that's, are, that's included but this also comes with an accessory to use with these poses so most, most poses like this that use an accessory, the accessory will be included and you can import those into uh, Sims 3 Pack Editor, or er, you can import those into Blender, I'm sorry. I'd like to offer a little bit of advice uh, before I show you how to download this. Um, if you use an accessory like this in uh, making your pose, a custom content accessory like this guitar, please make sure to credit the creator of this guitar um, in your download for your poses or even just in the pictures of your poses. Uh, if you'd like to include the accessory in uh, your download, make sure you get uh, permission from the creator of the custom content and if not, make sure you offer a link to the, uh, the download website from the creator rather than including it yourself. Um, you are now a custom content creator too, um, you know, you wouldn't want to be copied so please be very careful to give credit where credit is due. Alright, so now that I'm back at this page, I'm going to go to the download link. I'm going to scroll to the bottom to where you can download it and just hit download. Inside the zip is a couple of files. I am going specifically looking for the accessories. and So they're under here. Unfortunately for this one in particular, it's a Sims 3 pack instead of a package. So that's going to make it a little bit difficult to work with. But it's still workable. So I'll drag that to my desktop and I'll show you how to switch that over into a package file to use. So the program that you can use in order to convert a Sims 3 pack into a package is this program right here. It's called Delphi's Sims 3 Pack Multi-Extractor. So I'm just going to show you how to download and install that and use it very quickly. So down here there is a button called Files. I'll just click here under the uh, file name and it'll download. So I'm going to open up the RAR file, and there will be an uh, .exe file. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop and close out of the RAR. Double click the installer, and this window will pop up. So now I can use this to uh, extract the guitar. So I'm going to, so it says select the folder that contains the Sim 3 packs. Um, I can select my desktop in order to do this, but I, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with these packages or let's say I had a whole bunch of Sims 3 packs on my desktop and I only wanted to extract the one um, I would just put it in a separate folder so I'll put it into this folder and then I'm going to browse to that folder I'm going to go to the desktop go to Sims 3 packs hit OK and I'm going to have it uh, extract to my de uh, desktop. So for the second option I'm going to just select the desktop folder as the destination and then step three you just hit the uh, extract button here on the side and you'll notice that this uh, object here has popped up now. It's just kind of a gobbledygook of, uh, of numbers and letters so that doesn't really help me very much so I'm gonna click it once and hit and type in a name and name it guitar 
And now I'm going to go back into Blender. Go back to load CAS because this is an accessory. It's not a uh, build by item. I won't be able to drag it around the screen. It's going to be attached directly to the rig. So I'll select the guitar package that I just made. Hit the import button and wait for it to import. As you'll notice now, there's now a guitar here in uh, in Blender. So I'm going to move the piano out of the way real quick to kind of show this. This particular item is, uh, as I said, it's a create a sim item. It's it's an accessory that you would find uh, by going into stylist mode or uh, or create a sim mode or going into your dresser. So unfortunately, it is attached to the rig, which means that you have to uh, you won't be able to have it unattached from this hand here. But it makes it a lot easier for making specific poses um, around it. You just have to make sure to pose your fingers around it and and go from there. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end this video because that's pretty much all that uh, you guys need to know about importing props and creating sim items. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on this video or send them to my Tumblr account. I hope this helped and I hope you have fun making poses. See you later.